So I wanted to put this in here as well to show you the ways that we thought about this in the past. And we will continue with this kind of theme. She will probably make an appearance again at some point. But in terms of actually what we're going to be doing, we're going to be showing you, teaching you, and working through some skills related to all your disciplines in terms of how you express yourself. Because whatever you're studying, you need to be able to think creatively, think critically, think outside the box. And these are skills that employers are looking for. And you hear so often people saying, oh, I've got an arts degree, that won't get me a job, it won't get me anywhere. It will actually get you into almost anything, except for maybe medicine or engineering. Um, employers want employees who can think in different ways, who can approach problems from lots of different angles and come up with solutions. And that really is what we teach you in the humanities. That is what you're doing in your degrees, fundamentally. What we've just done, deconstructing quite a complex artwork and looking at it from different perspectives, is a skill of art students. Whether you're a visual artist or not, this is a skill that you can take into many other areas. So if you decide to go on to further research, postgraduate study, universities are becoming much more concerned with people being able to be transdisciplinary. People being able to look at their discipline, but also use it to look at other disciplines and make connections. And that's what we want to try and do in this unit as well. You can all learn from each other, no matter what you're studying. So you're well versed in more than one area. You have new insights, you gain knowledge from everything, as it says here, from poetry, paintings, business models, politics, and also incorporating your own views and opinions and interests. That's an important part. We want to know what fires you up and what interests you, and incorporate that into the unit. So we need to think about the word humanities. The word human is in there, it's central. This discipline, these topics are central to what we consider and what we care about as human beings. So we're going to think about what it means to be human, what we recognise as human. So through looking at topics like ongoing asylum seeker debates, uh, looking at the way people from different faiths represent themselves, looking at um, political issues that are around the body and violence done to the body and different ways of perceiving the body, we are going to look at these issues. How our bodies define us and our place in the world, and how this topic connects to and informs each of your disciplines. So we're going to try and help you identify how some bodies are viewed as privileged and some aren't, how this happens and what the possibilities are for change. You can consider human bodies alongside animal bodies as well. You can consider um, all kinds of ideas from different realms of your experience and your discipline. In the humanities, we learn empathy, understanding, tolerance, and it might sound very kind of up in the air and a bit sappy, but we learn how to live together, how to create possibilities for change. That is really, in, in essence, what we're looking at and what we're thinking about. How we can enable a safe and happy passage through the world with all the knowledge that we've gained. So we're going to look at this by thinking about how some bodies are constructed as less than human and use this knowledge to work out how that state of exclusion can be changed. Oop, that did need to come up twice. This is also very much a first year unit. I know there'll be quite a few of you who are second, third, even fourth year. You should have done this in your first year, and so I can't make any changes for that. We are aiming this at first year students. But, even if you are a bit further along in your degree, it's never too late to learn new skills, it's never too late to polish academic skills, and that's what we're going to be doing as well. You do need to learn these basic critical thinking, analytical writing skills to be successful. But also, if you're second or third year, we expect perfection from you. Um, because you've been here longer, you've already done quite a few units, we're expecting HDs, so you know, show us what you can do. These ideas are going to be explored through academic tasks, which as I say, are vital for success. You must come prepared each week. We're not giving you a lot of reading. We're giving you a really straightforward article. Um, some of the articles are even ones that I've shown to university preparation course students um, just to see what their reading levels are like. So they are not ones that you can't get through quite easily. If you don't come prepared, you won't know what's going on. We won't know what we're talking about. You won't be able to engage. And crucially, you will really not get the benefit that you need in order to prepare for the final assignment, which is a properly referenced, completely academic essay on one of these topics. So you're going to learn how to review and assess your own work. You're going to mark each other's work in class as well to get an idea for how grading works and what we're looking for. 
There's going to be reading comprehension tests which are done online, so you will have to have a good basis understanding of a couple of readings in order to complete these tests. We're going to tell you more about that in your sheets as well. There will be a reading group. Um, I think Bethany will come in at some point to tell you a bit more about that before we finish. And as I say, it will end with your submission of a fully researched academic essay drawing on these skills. We'll build them up each week. We'll tell you different aspects that you need. We'll do different exercises that will help you build up these skills that you need to complete the essay. So these are core skills. Why this is called the core unit is because we do try to instill some of these really important fundamental practices that you will need as a student. What I think is important to remember is that the problem will always be the essay or assignment task. The process you use will be the same for all your assignments. It's the content that changes. So whatever you choose to write about, that is also what you need to be studying and looking at and thinking about from different perspectives. The core skills that we teach you in terms of academic study will remain the same for all the disciplines that you study, all the units you do. So we are really preparing you for more than just this unit. We're preparing you for the rest of your study. Now, are there any questions at this point? I know I had to end with a bit of dry unit stuff, but I do need to give you the information. Has anyone got any questions? Everyone got access to Blackboard and the unit plan and all the bits and pieces? Okay, because you will be going through that today, and I would advise you really strongly to ask questions if you're not sure about anything, because I don't want you to go away thinking, what the hell am I doing, what's going to be going on? Now, there's a reading group as well. Um, Bethany is going to, well, is going to pop in, so if you're able to hang around and you want to talk about the reading group. Oh, there she is! I didn't see you! You were hidden in the corner. I was. There you go, I'll move away. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's my delight to be taking this reading group and we start next week. So the idea is that it's not a kind of replacement for doing the readings, but that you do the readings, I do the readings, we talk about them, we talk about their relationship to your assessment task, we talk how to read for meaning, but also how to read actively and critically. And um, I'll teach you to reference, en passant, you know, any, ask all of your questions. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so next week, we are in 3.102, and then after that we'll be in 15.101. Don't ask me. It wasn't kind of, I, I didn't deliberately want to arrange it like the greatest race or whatever. But uh, anyway, so yes, I hope uh, to see some of you there. Yes, I very much recommend going along, especially since two of the assignments, those reading comprehension tests that I mentioned, are based very, well, they are based on the reading in its entirety. So Bethany's genius and she'll be able to help you. It's true. Okay, do we have any more queries at all about anything that happened today or about the assignments? I haven't told you that much about them yet. Now is your chance. Okay, well come and speak to me if you want to. I'll be here for a few minutes because we've got a few minutes to go. Thanks everyone.